third step to creating a successful and informative video is storyboarding. Storyboarding is a way to plan out what will be shown in the video and in what order. The idea is to draw out the general action and information that's happening in your scenes. So in the first scene, I will be storyboarding about storyboarding. So let's draw me storyboarding a storyboard. <sighs> now in these scenes, it's important to show what's happening, not what's said. That's that's the job of that's the job of the line script. Yeah. Okay. So the script will help. Um, in the next scene, the director will bring me the script. It's script. Script, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Script. Thank you. Um, so, uh, now in these scenes, it's important to show what's happening, not what's said. That's the j That's the job of the script. <laughs> you can't be trusted. Uh, <laughs> you should use the script to ensure all aspects of the topic are presented correctly and in the best way possible, instead of uh, ad hoc work. <laughs> uh, so, in the next scene, the director should probably take over. Uh, so, let's draw that. As you can see, storyboarding shows the action, and the script dictates the speech, and both are important for continuity. Uh. <laughs> For the storyboard we're doing here, we're trying to come up with multiple examples of reflection. And that's what we're going to show in our video after we talk about what is reflection. Uh, and then we're going to do a reflection ray diagram, I believe, that, uh, that shows the patterns. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's probably what we should do next. Um, and that and is... we'll talk about the formula. The formula is in there. First, we'd start with the mirror, oh. and then we go into the incident ray. Continuity in filming is an important part of creating an effective video, even when scenes are filmed on different days. It's important to ensure any live demonstrations are set up the same way in filming on multiple days. Wow, a subtitle. Now everything said can be easily understood. You may find it necessary to use subtitles in your video. Subtitles can be useful for highlighting information, clarifying difficult topics, and citing sources for things like graphs and diagrams that must be printed for clarity. Subtitles can be added using iMovie on the iPad, but more on that later. Wow, sorry about that. Who said that? No need to worry. It's just me, your lab partner. This is a voiceover. I dubbed this in after filming. Then how can I hear you? Because we scripted this dialogue ahead of time, as other students can do in their videos. Just another example of the importance of working off a script. Far out. Farther. Much farther. Voiceovers allow you to add narrative dialogue to any scene, whether live action or still frame image. They can also be used to further explain information presented visually. Which reminds me, voiceovers can also be used to describe scribbles. Right, scribbles. That's a pretty important topic. Thanks, ghost. Hey, voiceover. I think you might be perfect for scribbles. Great, let's get started. Grab that whiteboard and bring it over to the filming apparatus. Using an apparatus to support the iPad and keep it stable is important to ensure that the still frames you'll be creating for the scribbles are all aligned. There are also ways to set up an iPad for filming video clips, such as supporting it with textbooks or using the Hercules arm or a similar stand. Having a storyboard specific to your scribbles improves workflow by showing what order you intend to draw each figure in your demonstration. It's important to copy off of an example whiteboard to ensure continuity and accuracy of any figures and calculations of your physics phenomena. Tape your board down to make sure it doesn't move while you're drawing your scribbles. This is how you create the stop motion video on an iPad using iMotion. Make sure you keep all tools you intend to use nearby. Your physics can be demonstrated by copying equations and diagrams line by line while capturing each line with the capture button in the iMotion software. 
Explaining the physics concepts isn't quite enough. You'll have to show a few example calculations as well that demonstrate the topic in action. The calculations should be applied to examples of the topic or experimental footage. When you're done with your Scribbles video, export it. The final step in creating a successful video is editing. Here, mathematical scribbles and clips of live physics demonstrations can be stitched together with added voiceovers and subtitles to create a finished product that effectively conveys your lab group's physics concept. Videos can be edited using iMovie on the iPad. Tutorials are available for any student inexperienced with editing. However, it is not important to create a perfectly edited finished product. The most important aspect of this project is demonstrating knowledge of the physics topic. The Law of Reflection with Caitlin Cirillo and John Battison. Well, gosh, look at all those reflections. But how do they work? Let's ask science. The law of reflection states that an incident light ray at a certain angle theta from the normal, that is, the line perpendicular to the plane of reflection, will be reflected at the same angle from the normal on the same plane. For example, this light ray incident on a plane mirror with incident angle 45 degrees from the normal is reflected off of the mirror at 45 degrees from the normal, or pi over 4 radians. When the incident angle is changed to 30 degrees from the normal, the reflected angle is also 30 degrees from the normal, or pi over 6 radians. The same rule applies when the incident ray is angled 70 degrees from the normal. The reflected ray is also measured to be 70 degrees, or 7 pi over 18 radians. No, 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 don't delete that. That's the ending.